Hello and welcome to another tutorial of MIM Marketing. In this series I'm going to go over how you can create a sign up form using Aweber and put it into your website using WordPress. First of all, go to Aweber and log into your account. If you don't have one, you'll have to sign up for this and the cheapest one you can get is around $17 a month. I think it's going at. So first of all, you'll need to have the website in hand that you're going to be creating it with and you're going to have to create a list. So in your Aweber account, click on list and then uh, put your website details in there and put your sender name and put your put your website address and the email you're going to be using. So all this information is going to show up on the emails that you send out using this list and the emails that return back to the customers once they've signed in or signed up for your newsletter or whatever it is you want to sign up for. So go ahead and put your information in there. And then click on next step. You can choose what type of confirmation you want to use. So on this one, I'm just going to put confirm your subscription and approve that. So what that's going to do is once the people sign up, they're going to have to confirm their subscription. But it's just going to send an email to their inbox, and they can confirm it through that. Uh, all right. So this is how you create a sign up form. Just click on sign up on the top navigation bar. Um, here you can create this. You can select the fields that you want to use in your sign up form. You can create many fields, you can create new fields, you can add more, you can add age and gender, whatever you want. Here's an example of me adding age. Um, you can give the label a name, you can give it a value, uh, you can click if you want it to be required or not. So that means someone has to send it. In my case, I'm just going to use full name and email. I'm going to get rid of the copyright sign at the bottom. You just have to hover over that and click cross, and then you can choose what side the sign up uh, form button you want to have it on this is a basic form you can choose custom layouts as well and there just at the top there you can see one screen so I'm just going to give it a quick description as well I'm just going to change the color of that make it a bit bigger and I'll probably center it as well Once you've got that done, that done, just click on the uh, go to next step. Give your form a name and then save that. Go to next step. And then you'll be presented with three options to embed your form. Now they're all just going to be coders, scripts, or links. Or you can send it to your designer or web developer if you want. On mine, I'm just going to use the uh, JavaScript code snippet there. It's the first one. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to open up WordPress. I'm going to place it right there in my WordPress theme in the sidebar. So I'm going to open up Appearance and then Widgets. And then in the Widgets, I'm just going to create a new widget. I'm going to drag it into the into the sidebar. This is the text widget, which allows you to put embed HTML code. I'm just going to give it a name of email newsletter. And I'm going to paste the code in there. And then I'm going to click on Save that. Then once that's saved, we can go onto the website and we can see if we refresh that that the sign up form is being embedded there so that's looking alright it looks like it's working so let's give it a test to see if it's working so we'll just add a first name in there add a working email as well and then we'll just hit the sign up button and head back over to Aweber to test to see if it's working now if it is working we should see subscribers someone being subscribed to us from the screen we should see our subscription being placed as one new subscriber oh but first we just have to confirm the subscription in our mailbox remember so have a look in your jump folder maybe it's in there and there it is so just select that link and then we're subscribed so that's that that's that done let's head over to Aweber now and check to see if everything's been working all right Go back into your list and there you go you can see in the list that we created there's one new subscriber and that was us so everything looks like it's working correctly um all right that's the video done should be under five minutes um hope you enjoyed this video and yeah that's it